Hey there folks, welcome back to my channel, Read With History Teacher. Today I want to talk about a mystery thriller that I just finished, A Good Marriage by Kimberly McCrete. This was one of the five book of the month club picks back in May. A great mystery thriller, 400 pages. I was so excited to get this last month and now I've read it and I'm ready to talk about it. Come along, join me. When one of the main characters, Amanda, turns up murdered at the bottom of her staircase and her husband, Zach, places the 911 call, the police feel like they have an open and shut case. The police really don't do a major investigation in Park Slope, Brooklyn, New York, which happens to be where our author, Kimberly McCrete, lives. And she wrote about it. She used it as the backdrop for this murder mystery and domestic legal thriller. Zach has no other alternative but to call a good friend from college. They were in law school together. He calls his attorney friend from law school, Lizzie who happens to be our other main character. Lizzie really deals with white collar crimes. She's really not interested in taking this on. A sequence of events lead to Lizzie being the main counsel for Zach. The question is, did Zach really kill his wife? I really enjoyed this murder mystery, murder thriller because of the complex character development and all of the drama that was going on between these couples and within their own relationships. The author did a fantastic job. I would consider this a must read for anyone that loves alternating timelines between two main characters and their points of view. It's something that I enjoy. I know it's not for everyone. It could be confusing at times. I love this type of writing style. Within the first 200 pages, I thought that there were spots that were a little slow as the author tried to lay the foundation of the character's past through backstories, especially in some coffee shop conversation, wine bar, evening girl chatter, seemed to go a little slow for me. But once I got halfway through the book, all the clues started falling together and I was really excited to figure out who was responsible for Amanda's murder. I was very intrigued by the use of grand jury testimony. I really haven't seen that lately in domestic legal thrillers. In the story, we're following three couples who have children that attend the same private country day school. Another intriguing highlight it, who hacked into the school's computer to steal all of the data belonging to the parents? And why? Why did they do that? I want to make sure that I address some potentially offensive materials in this book. Since it's a murder mystery, there are details of a gruesome crime scene. We have flashbacks of child abuse and also... We're dealing with couples, so we're dealing with the issues of marital fidelity. The biggest appeal for me and what kept me hooked was trying to figure out who actually murdered Amanda. Throughout the chapters, I thought I had the culprit, and then bam, the author would throw in a twist or a turn, and I'd be back to, again, who done it? Let's keep reading. I was hooked. I didn't put it down the last 200 pages. And I'll be quite honest with you, up into the last two chapters, anyone within this triangle could have killed Amanda. I loved, loved, loved the ending and how everything came together. The author, she got me. I couldn't figure it out. I had to read it for myself in those last two chapters. So I, at the end, I reflected back on the title, A Good Marriage, and overall, I thought some of the main themes were, can an action be forgiven? And or could the lies about the action be forgiven? 
what does it really take to have a good marriage? So I consider this a great read and I would definitely give it four and a half stars. I would recommend this to anyone who loves murder mysteries, thrillers that have alternating timelines and written from the point of view of two main characters. If you've already read it, drop me a line below and let me know how you felt about the ending. If you haven't read it, put it on your spring TBR list. I highly recommend it. If you like this video, smash the like button below and consider subscribing to my channel. I love to share my opinion and I try to drop at least two videos each week. Until my next video, folks, happy reading.